Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial, designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 interior. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 004 underscore DIAD underscore I. Go and click the file tab, hover the mouse cursor to save us, and select projects. This will bring the save drawing as dialog box. You name this file to 00 underscore 005 underscore DIAB underscore I and click the save button. Go to the architectural tab building panel and select the window corner. Now go to the properties palette, click the down arrow. We have only the fixed window type load with this template. So go and click the load command move down and double click the window select the first window and use the arrow key to scroll through the windows to see the different windows you can select whatever double window you want to use in your project i'm going to select a custom window i'm going to double click the desktop to go to the desktop then my you my youtube tutorial revit 2018 then designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Imperial. I'm going to select the Imperial slide window and click open to load this window into the project. If you want to use the same window, go and download this window on the website or use whatever window from the library. Zoom in and place this window into this area. Press escape. Select the window, go to the property palette, click the down arrow and select the 72 by 48. Now the window intersects with the two walls into this end to end. We need to increase the distance between this wall. But for the moment, let's continue and grade our windows for this project. Select the window command, place a window here, here 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 press escape to twice to this cancel the window command now select this window because this is a kitchen area click the edit type button and change the height of the window but before you, you need to duplicate this window click the duplicate button to get a new instance of this window name this window to 72 inches by 40 inches and click ok now change the height in this area to 40 inches don't forget to enter the coach symbol change the seal height and add 8 inches to the seal height then ok click the modify button click the window command again go to the property palette and click the down arrow select the 36 by 48 and place this window on the store Click the down arrow again, select the 30 by 30 and place this window into this toilet. Place another one into this toilet. Let's escape twice to get out of the corner. Now zoom in into this area by rolling the mouse wheel forward. Click, go to the quick access toolbar and select the align dimension. Click on the center of the window and click at the center of the wall move out and place the dimension away from the window click the modify button now select the wall change the figure to three feet 6.5 inches and press the enter key press escape select this wall and hit the lid on your keyboard select this wall go to the modify panel and select the mirror peak axis zoom in into this area and pick the center of the window to mirror the wall into the opposite side. Press escape. Select the dimension and hit the lid on your keyboard. Now let's try to reference this door and the other wall at the back. Click on this reference plan and select grid similar. Go to the option bar and change the offset to 3 inches. Click at the end of this reference plane and move the mouse cursor. Make sure that the reference plane draw on the left of the cursor so if it go on the right side press the space bar to flip it into the right direction move the mouse cursor 
and draw it 90 degree down press escape to get out of the command now we need to change this door go to the quick access toolbar and select the match property command select this door and select this door press escape to get out of the command click this door and note it to the left click on this temporal dimension and change this dimension to 3 inches press escape to this selected door now go to the quick access toolbar and select the align dimension command select the face of this wall and the, and the edge of this door click the center of the window move the mouse cursor out and click the eq button select this reference line and the edge of this wall click the center of this door move the mouse cursor out and select the eq button click on the edge the op, the frame of this door and the edge of this wall then click the center of this window to and click the dimension outside click the eq button to move the window select this face this wall the face of this wall and click the center of this window move out and click the eq button to place the wall at the center select the face of this wall the face of this wall click the center of this window move outside and click the eq button press escape to get out of the command press escape again select the dimension right click Select all instance in the entire project and hit delete on your keyboard. Because we have used this dimension to constrain objects, so leave it as if you want to unconstrain the object. Just click the OK, that will the object remain unconstrained. If in the future you want to see which objects are constrained, go to the view bar and click the reveal constrain then you see all of the dimensional constraint in that situation if you want to constrain just select this constraint and delete or select the constraint and click the eq button i'm going to leave this windows constraint then click the button again to toggle it off in the next video we will we'll continue the tutorial by creating more levels if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friends if you have any question please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.